Milton, Milton, what are you doing? Did you find something? Are you looking? <laughs> what are you looking for? guys so this is quarantine post travel day one officially day one and I just made myself some breakfast we had a pretty long night sleep and yesterday when we got home there was some issues regarding come here. Come here. so I knew that coming home I was gonna have to do a mandatory quarantine which is fine and the information that I got was that I we couldn't go to any public places like grocery stores like the bank like all that so we made sure that we had enough food for the next two weeks my mom made us some food um, Andy's mom prepared us some food and Kim went grocery shopping to get the girls some food and us some food too that should last two weeks that was the information that I was given and I was fine with it I was like it's cool we're just gonna chill at home uh, just go outside to make Herky and Milton go potty and stuff and so when we got home, there's all these ladies that live in our building that started telling us that we can't even take the elevator to bring the girls outside. And so there's a few of them that kept going at us and saying like, you know, uh, there's so much people in the building, like we can't risk one of you infecting us and you can't even have her kid Milton pee outside. So I was like, well, where do you want me to make them potty? Like on the balcony? That's going to lead to a lot of sanitary issues if they potty on the balcony for two weeks. Like, do you want it to leak on the neighbors on the bottom? I don't think so. And the neighbor on the bottom also, she said that she didn't want that to happen. So I said, okay, well, if that's the case, how about you guys walk Hurricane Milton for us for 14 days? And one of them offered and said, yes, she will walk Hurricane Milton for 14 days. So even then I was pretty sure that we we can walk her again with an outside, but I just have the feeling that these old ladies have nothing to do with their lives but to stare outside their window and to play police with us and catch us whenever we go outside and call the police. So what I did this morning is I called the government of Quebec, called the government of Canada. I also called the police to ask them this information. I'm still waiting to hear back from the police. But from the information that I've gotten so far from our governments, I can't go outside for public spaces like the bank like the grocery store but i can go outside just to make the potty as long as i maintain a safe distance with others which is exactly the information i got but even then i don't know if i should tell the neighbor that lives here about this information because you know she just offered to walk her again milton three times a day for 14 days so maybe i'll just leave it up <laughs> but yeah um or i could shove this information in her face i don't know let me know what you think Okay, so little update. I heard back from the police and the police said the exact same thing as the government of Quebec and the government of Canada. I even checked the Twitter of the chief medical officer of Public Health Canada and they all say that we can walk the girls. Obviously, we have to take precautions and as long as we don't have symptoms, it's okay. Wear a mask, wear some gloves, avoid touching surfaces, avoid the amount of time you're outside, don't go in public places like a park or something. But if we're just on the street making them potty in the back, it's fine. So if you've been judging me, know that I've checked all my resources. And if you want to call the police on me, know that I've already called them and I'm in the clear. So um, I'm going to do a Facebook post and I'm going to tell those ladies that I'm right. You can't just challenge me on something like that, man. Like those ladies probably don't even read properly. They don't even do their own research. I was a lawyer. I do my research, okay? I'm gonna do my due diligence. Mm -hmm. Herky's so happy to be home. Mm -hmm. You happy to be home? Since yesterday, all she's been doing is hugging the couch, walking around her house, sniffing everything, hugging the bed. You guys want a tour of how comfortable Herky is here? Okay, so we didn't know she was a homebody, but she really is. Look at all her spots now that you think about it. In the morning, usually, she'll like twist and turn around the bed here. So she has more space here because in LA, we have a queen size bed and we keep kicking her. So she has all the space here. Yeah, and then she'll chill here sometimes on the poof. Then she'll jump out 
Forget her walk, and then she'll lie here on this thing. This is Herky territory, all Herkies. And then after, they have all these bed options that they can lie on, like this one. <laughs> nobody, nobody really lies on this. This is in case they lie on here because they love it here, and then they fall down to there. It has been before. They can lie here. Oh, they can sit there. This over here is like Milton territory. Milton's always in this hole. And Herky will lie here to supervise the whole house. She will look at the whole house from here. When she's done and she wants to take a nap, she'll head over to here. Either here, she'll sleep here. Or she'll climb on this, which we don't allow her to do, but she'll do anyways all the time. She'll sleep here. So Herky has so many spots. Right, Herky? Hello, boss lady. Is this your house? Are you the queen of the house? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so the girls are back from their second walk of the day. This morning they went with Kim, which uh, if you've seen from some of our previous videos, she's our employee. And this afternoon, Herc and Milton just went on a walk with Remy. Which again, if you've seen some of our older videos, Remy is the schnauzer that lives right below us. So um, her mom kindly offered to walk the dogs. But now that I've checked all the information, um, I suggested to her that Andy and I do the quick morning walk and the quick nighttime walk where we just go around the block. Of course, we'll be wearing the mask and gloves. And then our we'll still get our neighbor Remy downstairs to do like the longer afternoon walk just to limit our exposure to outside. So I think she agree she's agreeing to that, which um has its pros and cons you know I, I was kind of looking forward to like not step outside for like two weeks it would have been something special but you know just the walk around around the block takes like three minutes just for their morning potty so i think that's what we're gonna do look like at how poop they are so cute oh and we just received this in the mail it's from our friend praline her mom does these kind of graphic designs um and that account is Praline's Paw. So if you're interested in this, I'm going to link a uh, link in the description box. Okay, so it's about 3.40 p.m. right now. And I'm feeling like I want some coffee. So I've been seeing this um, Korean coffee where it's like a whipped coffee. And I wanted to try it out. So let's try it out. So what you need is some instant coffee. This won't work with regular coffee. And you need equal parts coffee, water, and sugar. So I'm going to go with two tablespoons of coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of water. Let's see what it gives. And then once everything is mixed in, you just whip it, and apparently it takes 400 whips. So I'm going to try to do it with my mini whisk, and we'll see what it does. Starting to get foamy. But apparently it's going to get really light and frosty. Keep whisking. Ooh, it's starting to thicken up though. It's getting lighter and lighter and frostier and frostier. I'm just going to keep going. I give up. This is enough. But look how thick and foamy this is. Okay, let's serve this. Do you want to try the whipped coffee I made? Oh, wow. I whipped this by hand. Here, stir it. Stir it? Yes. Really? Well, it's, also, it's going to be really dark. You can try it however you want. I like to taste the okay. different. Oh, it's strong. It's strong. Definitely needs to stir it in. This glass is a bit small. Isn't the mousse thing cool? Yeah, beautiful. It's very rich looking. I whipped it by like hand. Creamy. Did you hear me? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> is it delicious? Mm hmm. This will go so well. 
Hello, Rocky, what you doing? It's so funny. The girls took naps everywhere around the house today. So happy to be home. And Milton is glued to dad. Are you enjoying quarantine so far? Very much so. Isn't it the best? The best. This is what I dream of doing all day, every, all the time. All day I dream about quarantine with the base. So, um, not much happened ever since the last time I spoke to you guys. I made some coffee and then I worked a bit and then hung out. Just doing some things around the house, which are really fun. I started slowly to put things away from the luggages, wash the bed sheets. Everything's good. Having a great time. We ate so much food from what our moms prepared for us already. But, you know, that's what quarantine life is about. It's about eating as you wish. So, yeah, we're just about to watch a movie now. And I'm not sure if I'm going to end the video now. But, yeah, I haven't. I, I told the neighbors. <laughs> So I told the neighbor ladies already about um, my research findings about the fact that it is legal and it is okay for us to go walk her Ken Milton for potties. And she had nothing good to say in return. In your face! Are you girls ready for bed? You girls are ready for bed? Good girl. Are you saying goodnight to your friends? Say thanks for watching. We love you. Okay, so this ends day one of our quarantine post-travel. So I hope you enjoyed. I don't know if I'll be doing this every day, but nonetheless, this is day one. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye. Pete!